To another story now, five suspected fraudsters arrested in a 13.5 million shilling gold cam, the latest to be revealed in Nairobi, were Thursday afternoon released on a 200,000 shilling cash bill when Akibra Magistrate Court declined the prosecution's request to hold them for five more days as investigations continue. The suspected scammers swindled an Australian national 13.5 million shillings, allegedly had cuffing him and forcefully obtaining the money in U.S. dollars before assaulting him and threatening him with jail and deportation. Hassan Mugambi reports. Bloomfield Thor is the latest victim of the vicious gold scammers in the country at the Nairobi Area Operations Support Unit headquarters. All of this is fake gold. He finally gets to see what he spent 13.5 million shillings on, thinking he was buying gold. Thor narrates his ordeal at the hands of the scammers who resorted to violence when he outsmarted them and refused to pay before viewing and testing the gold. Beaten, cuffed and held at gunpoint, he had no choice but send for the money in cash. I ended up calling my wife and asking her to come with my money, which was 60,000 US dollars, to put it on the table so that we could show some proof to these people that we actually had money to procure and purchase gold and after doing that the men counted the money they left the room with our money we asked for the money to be brought back into the room because I feared that it would either come back as fake currency or would disappear we would never see it again after that the agent became extremely violent jumped over the desk and started beating my wife and beating me there were other thugs in the room and they held both myself and my wife's hands down so that they could continue beating us. My wife escaped the room, ran down the stairs and five men beat her and sexually assaulted her. After all this, the daring scammers still had the audacity to reach out to him to conclude the deal and pay the remaining 40,000 USD. He however showed up with detectives who steered the operation that led to the impounding of fake currency, all bearing the same serial number, gold bars and pellets, a makeshift smelting machine, among other items. But all I can do is I can thank the Kenyan police force for their extreme protection of us, the fastness that they moved, and the ability and the fear that they put into the people that have done this to us. The suspects were presented before the Kibra court where they were released on a 200,000 cash bail each. They are expected to be charged on the 8th of November. Even as the suspects are expected to be presented before court on counts of fraud, robbery with violence and attempted rape, the DCI continues to call on investors to involve authorities to avoid putting their money in the wrong hands. Hassan